Black Friday is upon us, but if you're not watching this in Black Friday or around the time of upload, don't worry, I'll leave all the links down in the description with the ones that are relevant to you and hopefully you can still cop a good deal. Today we're taking a look at the best valued products, I think, for the iPad Pro, starting off with this desk. This is the Ogo Locks desk. It's a sit stand desk, so you're able to push it down and just with the lever, you're able to bring it back up. It's kind of like an office chair and it works really well. I would say the finishing is a little bit crap, especially because I have sweaty hands. It doesn't really go away unless you kind of wipe it down with an actual wet cloth or something. But it's a great desk. You can put a drink in this little cup holder here. It has just one lever to push it up and down. And it's not really like a cranking system, so it's really easy. I find for the iPad Pro, it's great because the iPad is a fairly small device, so you're able to still fit like a notepad, a drink, and other accessories. One accessory I would definitely keep on this desk would be the Anchor Power Expand Plus. This one is great. I got it on a Prime Day sale and it has seven in one, which means it has two USB 3.0 ports, one USB-C data port, one USB-C power port, SD card, micro SD card, and a full size HDMI. The only thing it's missing is an ethernet port if you need it, but other than that, it works really well. Next item I would definitely pick up would be the Dbrand skins. I've done a video on this before and I kind of really didn't do a very good job of communicating it, but these are expensive. They're not cheap, but it does pay off for a peace of mind that you get. I got one for my iPad Pro keyboard case, the Magic Keyboard, and now that I have it, I definitely have a lot less worries of it getting damaged, uh, especially because it's so durable. I can put it down on rough surfaces and I know that my keyboard's not gonna get scratched. So for peace of mind, I think it's such a good value pickup and hopefully they are doing some sales at the moment. On the topic of keyboards, the Magic Keyboard is definitely not a cheap option, but I think all around for productivity, a keyboard can be really good for the iPad Pro. So whether you get the Magic Keyboard or get a different option from Logitech, they, I believe, have the Combo Touch keyboard case, and that one looks fairly good. If I didn't get the Magic Keyboard, I would probably get that one, and I think you can pick that up for a pretty good deal. On the topic of combos, I believe a USB is an essential, and this one is a dual USB, so it has USB-C and USB-A on each side, so that way you can plug it directly into your iPad without any dongle if need be, and I think having one of these is awesome. Speaking of awesome, the Anchor PowerPort 3 Mini 30 Watt Power Charger, preferably in black, is a really good pickup. I personally don't have one with me today, but I do have it on order since it is Black Friday and it's on such a good deal. At the moment, it's $21.99 Australian. And having this is great, especially for an iPad. Not every USB charger plug can charge the iPad Pro just because it does draw a little bit more power. So having one of these will mean you can use your iPad more, you can do more work, you can charge it better all around a great pickup. I'm not sponsored by Anchor, but hopefully one day I will be. I do use their battery banks and I have been looking at the new PD battery banks, the 20,000 and the 10,000. Still not sure which one to get, but they're both on sale at the moment. And I think it's a great deal for the iPad, especially you can add to that portability about charging it anywhere you go. So if it is running low, you can pull out your battery bank in the middle of the mountains and still charge your iPad. My final one, and this is more for those who don't have an iPad yet and still looking if they want to get one. I think getting an iPad Pro, the best thing you can invest in would be the actual internal storage. If you do fill up your storage on the iPad, it will be a bit of a pain to start deleting things, uploading things to the cloud, whatever. Uh, I personally got the 512 gigabyte version and I think that's doing me justice so far but definitely a good investment since you can't upgrade it in the future and you can get external things, but it'll be so annoying to plug it in, especially if you really need a file. So having everything on the iPad would be great. So if you wanna spend a little bit extra, I know it's super expensive, but it's such a good deal, especially if you're wanting the iPad to last a little bit longer. So that pretty much wraps up this video of the top value accessories. I didn't really include an Apple Pencil or a mouse just because I only use them if the circumstance requires it. So I wanted to keep these a little bit more general for those out there. But if you have any valued items that I missed for the iPad Pro, be sure to comment them down below and I'm sure that will help out so many people here 
who are watching, maybe like five people. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.